There's been talk that there is an American Idol superstar right on campus. Who could it be? Cal State San Bernardino got Scott McIntyre. Fullerton got Kelly Clarkson. Who do we get? A bikini Girl. Yeah, Bikini Girl. You know, the girl that wore the bikini on audition on season 8 who got uh, Simon Cal's attention more than once. Yeah, she took time out of her busy day to come out here and celebrate the coming out party of Substance Magazine. Why? Because she was on the front cover, of course. You could come down and get a picture with her, get her autograph, or just sit and stare. And I got the privilege to ask her a couple questions of my own. I'm here with Katrina from American Idol, also known as Bikini Girl. Now, how are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you for coming out. Um, I got a couple of questions, and that first one is, uh, what are you up to nowadays after back to back? Well, I'm recording, and I'm working with a new producer, and I got a new acting agent and a manager, and I met for some like, movie roles, and really exciting projects, and um, I actually just did a song with Cocaine from Lisa Tour with Sleep Dog, so I'm pretty excited about that. It's a remake of like an older song, and the summer is going to be hot for Bikini Girl and appearances, so I'll probably be doing a lot of traveling. So a lot of good things. I heard you're also working a calendar. Is that true or? Ah, uh, that's a possibility. Okay. Um, uh, back to American Idol. What are your thoughts of Simon Cowell? Uh, this being the last season, do you think the show is going to be um, up to standards without him or? What is American Idol without Simon Cowell? First, I thought it wasn't going to be the same without Paula. It did take a big hit in the ratings, and then especially with Simon gone, I probably wouldn't even watch it. <laughs> So, uh, Simon makes the show. Now, I noticed everybody's been talking about the Kara thing and how she kind of upstaged you on American Idol. But I tried to. Tried to. Um, <laughs> but what do you think now? Because this last season, she kind of was looking at a certain guy named Casey on the show. And Which they quoted as Bikini Boy, right? Exactly. Yeah. And. Maureen Seacrest kind of saw her walk outside of her house because her husband uh, noticed this action. What are your thoughts on that? Is it like kind of like a hee hee kind of moment, kind payback. of like payback? Um, Casey was hot. If anyone could break up a marriage, I think he could. <laughs> but yeah, it is payback for Kara. Now, there's talk actually of her not coming back next season. What do you think about that? No, I'm kidding. No, we made amends. We're okay now. But. I wouldn't like cry and lose sleep over it if she did leave. <laughs> Do you think we might see any more auditions from you from next season? Or um, following seasons? Maybe. Who knows? Okay. You'll have to keep your eyes out for me. Oh, my website is www.katrinabikinigirl.com.